welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something, again, a little bit different today. I'm doing a voiceover for the vlog I, well, you know, kind of just scrambled together when Ben and I spent the weekend in New York. This is a little peek at what I packed. I usually pack really light. This is actually a lot for me. I only had to bring this much because I had to wash my hair while we were there, so in that little Dior pouch. That was a gift with purchase, I think from Nordstrom when I bought some makeup but that has all of my hair stuff in it. We like to drive in, we park for the weekend, trains can be a pain to deal with, but when we got in, we went right down to Soho and hit up some uh, shops, got some coffee. Let's see, oh, and then we went to the edge. I don't know why I'm saying that, like I didn't put this together and I, like, I don't know what's coming next. Hello, New Jersey, hello. I think the edge is worth doing once. It's a lot better if you can go during a, on a weekday. Hopefully it's a little bit quieter. It's very clear that people just go there for the pictures. They do have drinks available. So if you really want to get your money's worth, it kind of sucks that you have to spend more money. But ideally, if I had to do it over again, I think it's definitely worth doing once, probably not on a 99 degree day. But if I could do it over, I would go with a group of friends. We would all have cocktails, hang out there for a bit, really get your money's worth, you know, enjoy the views, take some nice pictures. Cause honestly, Ben and I, we were up there for maybe 10 minutes and we're like, well, okay then, <laughs> we've seen it. <laughs> uh, then we went into Nordstrom. These shoes are gorgeous. They're insane. I, I love, God, N the Nordstrom in New York is so good for looking at the shoes. The Christian Dior ones are so detailed. I loved these. They are all way too narrow for my big flippers, but I thought the detailing on these, it was insane. I mean, look at that. Come on, that embroidery. And then of course, Prada, one of my absolute favorite shoe brands because they can fit my big feet. These, I mean, no introduction, just stunning. More Dior. And then these shoes, these like disco ball shoes. If I could squeeze my foot into any of them, I, I would try for this one. This makes me a little nuts and that's fine, but we went into three different Fendi's while we were in New York City. I mean, you gotta see all the different stock. It's well worth doing. And Ben and I, we must have walked, even though, like I said, 99 degrees, we walked maybe 10 miles over the two days, which is a lot in that heat, but I got to see this gorgeous beaded bag. I have to admit it was a little bit beat up around the edges. I think it had just been roughly handled, but it was stunning. This had excellent shoes. And then I got to see an ostrich peekaboo. The staff there were a little bit nervous. I mean, they busted out the gloves, obviously. <laughs> they had never handled it before. They had never had anyone ask to see it. And they seemed a little bit anxious. They definitely kept an eye on me while I was, wa uh, while I was wearing it, but totally understand. Uh, then we got cocktails. That was fantastic. Part of the reason why we didn't get drinks at the edge, because we're like, okay, well, one, it's 11 o'clock in the morning and we're getting cocktails later. It's really hot. We probably shouldn't have drinks up on the edge, but this was fantastic. If you are absolutely bored with my narration, I completely understand. Keep in mind that it's always an option to go to another tab, open up your favorite song, and just mute me. Just keep on watching, enjoy the eye candy, and I'll keep rambling on in peace, and I'll have no idea that I bored the heck out of you. But here's our day two. I, of course, went back to Fendi. This is when I got the bag. If you've seen the unboxings, you know the story, but Ben surprised me. He slipped my essay a post-it note. He had it all ready to go, uh, but essentially his plan was to buy whatever bag I picked out. He knew that I was looking at this one, uh, that pretty, pretty seafoam green. I know they call it mint. It personally doesn't remind me of mint, but that's okay. I tried on a ton of shoes in this boutique. I've been wanting to try on the Colibri? Colibri? I don't know. Those gorgeous heels right on screen right now. The details on these are incredible. They were absolutely beautiful and they fit a wide foot. What more could you want? At least, what more could I want? It is so hard to find designer shoes 
but the detail on them was incredible. These seemed a little bit delicate. I could tell that, I mean, there were one or two beads loose around the edge, so they made me a little bit nervous, but they were very comfortable. People are being serious when they say it. I had to find out for myself, but they were very comfortable. These were my favorites, these little kind of like lip motif. They're so subtle and as you can tell, they are the color of me. So they would be the perfect nude shoe. These were the ones I was most considering getting. Here we have the Fendi first and you know what's crazy? Ben loved these shoes. He absolutely loved these shoes on me. He was encouraging me to buy them. They were very comfortable. It was very weird walking on that kind of heel at first and I was a little uncomfortable but he loved them. Uh, I know that they come in white, black, and that nude. There might be also a pink one, but I'm not sure. And also there's like lots of different textures and furry versions. Our trip is almost at an end. We always stop for lunch at one of our favorite Italian restaurants after Fendi. We get Prosecco, we get a huge, you know, big Italian meal with, complete with pasta, and we finish with coffees. We really needed this time together. We just needed to indulge in food and drink and each other's company because we had been so bogged down with work and family stuff and then free time was spent doing chores and we just really needed a break from all of that and so this weekend it was perfect it was it was really good to just to reconnect and hang out with him and finally bottega i am obsessed with Bottega now, I have loved using my Jody. If you haven't seen the unboxing, spoiler, I bought a teen size Jody and I love it, okay? I typically only go for mini bags, micro bags, very structured bags, but there is something about this and it caught my attention when I heard that they were coming out with a teen size. I had a really good feeling about it. I like the mini, it's super cute, but I feel like a clumsy giant when I hold it. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I have really big hands and long gangly arms. And so I just felt like a giant holding a little toy bag, but they're adorable. I think they look fantastic on other people. So of course it's why I've, I've tried on a mini Jody, but the teen worked really well for me. I ended up going for the fondant color because it has this incredible sheen to it. This bag here was actually on my wish list, and I still really, really like it, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I like it, and I definitely love all the colors it comes in, but I don't think I need to own it, if that makes sense. I just have a few extra clips before I say goodbye. I love the parakeet color. I'm going to be doing a first impressions for my teen Jody very soon because I love this bag so much, and there's not a lot of information yet on the internet. Here's the parakeet color. It's one of my favorite colors that they do, but you know, Bottega color, it's all good. It's, this is the wisteria color. And I do like this wallet. I just had to play with it. I had no intention of buying a bigger wallet, but there is something about Bottega pieces. You just won't touch them. This is the Kiwi. I'm obsessed with this color. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, but it's very, very cool. And here, of course, is that ridiculous oversized bag. The only thing we got was the Teen Jody and uh, Ben's card holder, which he's loving using, by the way. See? Tiny little mini bag. This is from a few days later, but I had to in include the clips here, you know, just for comparison in case anyone wants to see this with the teen size. So I think that's everything I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.